The guillotine is the execution machine that made its name known to the world with the French Revolution. The guillotine was used in Europe with different names throughout the Middle Ages, mostly for the murder of nobles. The most feared form of punishment for serious criminals, especially in France, England, Scotland, Germany and Italy, was beheading with a guillotine. Its use in executions has decreased over time. This machine was redesigned by Dr. Joseph Fitness Guillotine, a member of the French National Assembly during the chaotic years of the French Revolution. And with a law passed on March 20, 1792 with this proposal, it became France's standard and official execution instrument. The aim was to kill everybody with the same system without making the distinction between noble and noble with its revolutionary logic. In addition, the death penalty had changed from the old regime to a more modern, fast and painless form. This machine, which has a great deterrent effect, was immediately named Guillotine Guillotine, the surname of its designer. This machine, also called Madame Guillotine and National Razor, was used for the first time in the execution of a bandit named Nicolas Jacques Pelletier. Then the French king the 16th to the same end. Louis and his wife stopped by Queen Marie Antoinette. Thus, it was used in the executions of prominent statesmen and politicians. The guillotine became the political symbol of a movement that could also touch the untouchable of that time. How the guillotine kills putting the person sentenced to death with a guillotine face down into a circle-shaped apparatus holding his head fixed, the executioners would release the cross-angled knife hanging between two wooden posts. This cutting blade, which descends rapidly, would detach the head from the body in an instant. The inmate's falling head would also fall into a basket placed in front of him. Guillotine executions were held in front of large crowds and in squares with a ceremonial ceremony. The purpose of public executions was not only to punish the criminals, but also to make people take lessons by seeing that horrible scene and pay attention to their actions and not prepare themselves in this way. During the French Revolution, there were days when a hundred people were guillotined sometimes a day. The people would take to the streets to watch them, men and women, young and old. On the crowd that gathered to satisfy their curiosity, blood shedding blood and falling into the basket with altered facial expression would have had a dreamlike effect for days. In France, the use of guillotine was stopped in 1939 and its use was stopped 